Hi, this is Cindy Bernigge coming to you from the Wear Pigs Fly Farm out in Lynn, Missouri. I just recently started vlogging and today we're going to be talking about llamas. And behind me here is Miss Cagney. Cagney came to us in about 2013 when her owner passed away. She has been an awesome addition to the farm. In this video, you're going to learn a little bit about llamas. Originally, they came from North America many, many years ago. The male llama is known as an intact llama, the female a dam, and the baby a cria. Their lifespan is generally 15 to 25 years, though they have been known to live for up to 30. Their weight will range between 290 and 440 pounds, and they can get up to 6 feet tall. The llama is a relative of the camel, though of course the llama does not have a hump. Here you can see Leroy. They do look quite a bit alike, minus the hump. It appears that the llamas have originated from the central plains of North America, like I said before, about 40 million years ago. They then migrated to the South America about 3 million years ago. Then, at the end of the Ice Age, they actually became extinct in North America. Llamas were then domesticated by the Incas 4 to 5,000 years ago. Today, llamas live as domesticated livestock. They help us guard animals, and they also make great pets. As you can see, Cagney loves the attention that she gets here at the farm. Llamas come in a variety of colors. There's white, gray, brown, and then of course there are the patterned ones, just like Cagney. Isn't she beautiful? It's usually around late April, early May when our shearer comes out. He takes care of that fleece that weighs her down. Actually, for about 6,000 years, individuals have been using this fleece for textiles. The llama wool is light, warm, and water repellent. Now, llamas are not biters. However, some of them are spitters. Note, Cagney is not a spitter. She's a kisser. However, if you are around a strange llama, watch out. When you get spit on, it is nasty. Another crazy fact about llamas is their poop. It is almost odorless. And believe it or not, it is actually a truly great eco-friendly fertilizer. Farmers actually refer to the llama manure as llama beans. And they go to the same pile repeatedly, which is kind of nice for cleanup. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to wrap it up. Cagney's getting a little annoyed with me today. Aren't you, Cagney? Yep, that's going to be it. She couldn't believe that I videotaped her going to the bathroom. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed our vlog and uh, you'll hit that subscribe button and like our videos. We've got a lot more animals to talk about and a lot more to teach you. So uh, hopefully we'll see you back again. Have a great day.